My name is Paige Johnston, and I'm one of the co-curators of Recruiting for Utopia, which is currently on view here at the Fruitlands Museum. Today I'm going to show you two more works from the exhibition, and I want you to join me on that tour. The first work I want to look at is this work right here, which is called Lesbian Separatist Colony Mad Libs. It's by an LA-based artist and performer who goes by the name of Dynasty Handbag. So this work, in this work, she depicts uh, a number of nude women engaged in activities such as uh, building houses, milking goats, relaxing in a handmade hot tub, and you know she's she's showing them engaged in these activities that are all part of the daily life of living in a commune or a separatist colony. But in contrast to the very toned and beautiful white heterosexual couples that we usually see depicted in photographs from the 60s and 70s back to the land movement. All of her characters are frowning and lumpy and in no way do they seem to be enjoying these activities that they're engaged in. One of the things that I really like about this piece is that she uses the Mad Libs format, which many of you are probably familiar with from having done them as a child or having done them with a child. She uses that Mad Libs format um, and that allows you, the audience, to participate in completing or writing the utopian narrative that accompanies these images. And of course, you can also color in the pictures because it's a coloring book. So we really, we like the way that this one brings humor to our sort of fantastical or fantasy ideas of what life is like on a commune. Um, and then I wanna show you one more over here, which is called Journeys to Complete the Work, um, Stories About Repatriation. And this work, which is by Sonia Adelaide, who is Anishinaabe Ojibwe, together with Jen Shannon, uh, who's an anthropologist at University of Colorado, Colorado Boulder, and John Swagger, who is a comic illustrator and an archeologist. Together they wrote this comic um, to explain the Native American Graves and Repatriation Act. So that act was created to allow indigenous people and Native American tribes to be able to make claims to museums and collections in order to get back the remains of their ancestors that may have found their ways into those collections. And you know, this can be a very confusing legal process. And by using the comic, which is a form that we widely understand to be used for entertainment purposes, they tell the stories of how this act is navigated in a way that's accessible and easy to understand. You know, it's much different than just following the legal ease that you might encounter online or by talking to your local government. Um, and it's, it's really meant for anyone who wants to understand what these processes are, but it's also a tool for indigenous people to really understand what their rights are and how they might go about getting back their ancestors. So it's a really important work, and actually, we will have that work available here in the gift shop at Fruitlands, and it's available at cost, so it's, it's very affordable, very accessible, um, and it's a really great way to increase an understanding of what that act does and how, how it's used out in the world. So we would encourage you to come to the, to the Fruitlands to see the exhibition, to see what's in the gift shop, and to handle these works um, yourself, which is of course what the artist intended. Um, the show will be up until March, and you can find out more about the artists who are in the show, the hours for the institution, and how to reserve your spot by going to the Fruitlands website. Thanks so much.